take few deep breaths and relax your body, relax your mind. And try to put away all the negative thoughts. Criticizing others. Finding faults in others. Or criticizing oneself. Or finding faults in oneself. It is very easy to nit to do nitpicking, finding faults in everything, in everyone, all the time. That's very easy. And no one is perfect. One who tries to find faults in others is not perfect. And that is not conducive to peace, harmony. To practice loving friendliness, we must learn to accommodate weaknesses of others. We learn to be compassionate. When one does not like oneself, one projects that attitude towards others. Therefore, it is important to relax the body, to relax the mind, and let go of the negative states. We all have to be friendly, compassionate, and considerate for each other. We make a great sacrifice in finding this time to still sit still, sit quietly. We need a great deal of patience, great deal of understanding. This is a very special retreat. We are training ourselves gradually to gain peace and happiness. This is a gradual process. It doesn't happen automatically, all of a sudden, as a miracle. 
So we have to do a certain amount of groundwork, such as disciplining our mind, disciplining our senses, and a great deal of effort we have to make to cultivate friendliness, which sometimes is very difficult for people, for some people. We want to learn to live in harmony, in peace, Let us spend a few minutes sharing loving thoughts to settle our mind, to bring us peace. Let us all be free from enmity, hostility, fear, tension, anxiety and worries. Let us be free from afflictions. Let us free from pain, suffering physical or psychological. Let our mind be, mind relax, let the body relax. Let us feel that we all are treading the same path, aiming the same goal. Let us be considerate for each other. Let's have compassion for all of us. We all are at different level of spiritual path. Some make progress faster than others. Those who make progress faster should have compassion for others who are slow. Some of us are more far-sighted than others. Those who are far-sighted should be more compassionate towards those who are not. Some of us have more patience than others, and we wish others who are not patient to be more, to have more patience. Some of us can relax faster than others, and we, those who are those who can relax faster wish others to, to relax as well. Some of have some of us have confidence in our practice, some others do not. And those who have confidence wish them have confidence. Some of us can make effort easily. Others, when they make effort, 
they get more agitated, excited. Those who can make effort gently, right proportion, which wish others to relax and have the same degree of effort. Some of us can gain concentration faster than others. Those who gain concentration faster wish others also gain concentration faster. Some of us do not experience a great deal of pain, and those who can meditate without too much pain should wish others to not have pain. Some of us can sit still, quiet, without shifting, moving very frequently, but others cannot, and we wish them to relax, sit still, quiet, steadily. As our minds relax, let their minds relax too. As our mind becomes free from pain at a certain point, let others' body also free from pain. So we all can balance each other out. We all can practice harmoniously, make progress steadily. May our minds relax, may our minds free from rigidity, uptightness, May our minds be free from enmity, resentment, anger. May we all unite in our effort to achieve the same goal of peace. May we all feel friendly towards each other. May we all feel compassionate towards each other. May we all appreciate each other's success and gain. May we appreciate each other's peace and happiness. When we appreciate others' gain, we gain, we don't lose. When we wish others to be peaceful, we become peaceful. When we be friendly with others, others become friendly with us. There always is this reciprocacy. This is a reciprocal arrangement among us, between us. I get what I give. If I relax and wish others to relax, I relax more. 
When I wish others to be peaceful, I become peaceful. When I am compassionate towards others, I become compassionate. When I appreciate their success, they appreciate mine. If I become jealous of others' success, they become jealous of my success. This always how things happen. If I wish others to be peaceful, my mind becomes peaceful. If I gain concentration and wish others to gain concentration, it helps me to make my concentration steady. If I don't disturb others, it is unlikely others disturb me deliberately. Eventually, it is my mind that makes me peaceful and happy. Let us do whatever we can to make our minds peaceful and happy and relaxed and comfortable. <clears throat> that is the basic groundwork for gaining any state of concentration. Let us all be free from agitation, excitement, fear, tension. Let us free, be free from worries, Let us wish to be healthy. Physically as well as psychologically. May our practice of meditation brings peace to everyone. Let every breath bring peace. And let every breath bring relax feelings. Let every breath bring joy and happiness. Let this entire space we live, we sit, be filled with <coughs> joy and happiness and peace. We become happy or unhappy depending on how we think, what we think. No matter how good others are, 
we won't be happy if we are not good. That goodness is how, what we create in our mind. So let us be free from anger, fear, jealousy. At least for this short period of meditation, let's forget all the differences Let us understand that we all are one breathing, living being. Let us feel this peace among us. Let no harm come to any of us, no difficulty come to any of us. No problem come to any of us. Let us always tread the path of peace. Path of peace lies in our own personality, in what we think, what we say. Path of peace is not external, it's internal, right in our mind. Through joy, happiness, concentration, we can find the path of peace. Even if this whole house is filled with grain of gold, we may not be happy. If the mind is not relaxed and peaceful, no matter how many things we have around us to make our body comfortable, our cushions we sit on, the floor we sit on, the atmosphere, air we breathe in, none of this can make us comfortable, peaceful and happy. If the mind is not peaceful and happy, only source one and only source of happiness is our mind. One and only source of comfort, joy, is the mind. And it is this mind that we are trying to cleanse, purify of all impurities, and we want to reach that fundamental, deeply rooted, luminous state. We keep removing the layers and layers of impurities to reach that most beautiful, clean, luminous mind that we all equally share, equally possess. Let our effort of concentration bring us close to the true peace, 
through the experience of this luminous state of mind. It can become dull, dark, if you do not tap that luminous state. We want to bring this alive, effective, to pervade the entire body and mind. Let this luminosity diffuse in the entire body, entire mind. Let us reach that wonderful, pure, clean state. Let us not mar that luminosity by thinking negative thoughts. And it is this pure luminous state that brings us close to those noble ones the Buddhas, Arahants, Pachyaka Buddhas, and Saints. Who all have found the secret of happiness by tapping this luminous state of mind. When we reach that, we find the secret of happiness lodged in our mind. With these beautiful feelings, peace, joy and happiness, let us breathe in and breathe out. Let us try to reach this most precious, invaluable source of happiness that we all carry in our subconscious mind without knowing it. We should not be blind anymore to this source of joy and happiness. Let us illuminate our body and mind by opening this luminous state through the practice of jhani concentration. Let friendliness, generosity and compassion as a unit initiate our confidence 
that in turn lead in, that in turn leads to joy and happiness which carries us through the luminous state of mind and let the mind become clear and pure undisturbed 